Put on your goggles. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, bringing you another nugget of technical expertise from the Oracle community. This episode features a tip from Oracle Ace Director Lucas Helleba. Lucas is a domain and solution architect. He's the chief technical officer at Amis Services in the Netherlands, and he's the author of the Oracle SOA Suite 12C handbook available from Oracle Press. Lucas's two minutes start now. My tech tip today is about the Oracle database. One of the core features that has been around in the Oracle database since release four is called read consistency. It basically allows one session to make changes unbeknownst to other sessions until such time the changes are committed. And if a, if a session would, uh, would happen to have a long, long running query, even the committed changes are not immediately vis visible because it would break the consistency. This mechanism has been exposed in Oracle 9i under the name of flashback. Flashback originally was a feature as, uh, especially of interest to administrators. They could flashback database, flashback a table, or even undo a drop of a table. In Oracle 11G, we saw the arrival of the flashback data archive. And this allows us to, sp uh, to specify in a fine-grained manner for individual tables that their history should be re retained for a certain period of time. This means that now flashback is available to application developers. However, in 11G, this feature is only part of the advanced compression option, uh, which requires the enterprise edition of the database. In 12C, things have changed for the better. Now flashback is supported in all versions of the database, all editions. It doesn't require an uh, extra cost option. It doesn't require enterprise edition. Then, in, uh, instead of having no history at all when flashback is turned on, we can now import our custom history, for example, from journaling tables, to create the history that will then be available for flashback operations. Additionally, flashback will track the context of transactions, which means we also will, uh, will know who made the change and not only what the change is. Finally, we have support for schema evolution. Flashback can survive changes in the schema structure. Now my two minutes are up. Did you like Lucas's tip? Let us know and stay tuned.